Welcome back for another quant price prediction update and in this video I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the quant chart and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording quant has continued to hold above the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and in my previous videos I also focused on a chart pattern that we had in formation right here which is a chart pattern that breaks to the upper side which is an inverse head and shoulders pattern where I had this as the left shoulder then we saw the head then the right shoulder and you can see that I was expecting a massive breakout to the upper side having my minimum target areas at around the 123.8 dollar mark though you can see that we are yet to see the breakout to the lower side and at some point we had been seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in a move that gave us a low at around the 114.7 dollar mark and as a result of this breakdown to the lower side now my chart pattern has now hit invalidation points and we need to remove it from the charts and maybe continue giving you my, my analysis basing it on the ADO12 structures and basing my analysis on the ADO12 structures I have two possible scenarios that could be playing out here on the quant chart and I'll start with the more bullish one where you can see that after seeing our low on the 26th of May we saw a five wave structure to the upside where I'm terming this as the wave one then a wave two a wave three a wave four and on the first scenario that I'm expecting there are high chances that we have not yet seen the high for this wave five to the upper side and that could suggest that as long as we continue holding above the 20 day MAs continue seeing a lot of buying pressure here on the quant chart then we could get one more high in the formation of this wave 5 maybe at our next key area of resistance at around the 124.9 dollar mark and once that move plays out then we can term that as the formation of that wave 5 in a move that will be completing the formation of this larger area of count 1 then from that point we can expect a bit of a pullback in the formation of a larger area of count 2 which is what we expect after seeing a five wave structure to the upside where I'll be expecting to see an ABC corrective structure play out having the wave C fully maximizing our minimum target areas which I'll be able to give you in case we see that one more high which I'll be able to give you in case we see that one more high in the formation of that wave five and that is the first possible scenario that I'm expecting here on the quant chart and these two possible scenarios are both bullish but we have to see a bit of a breakdown to the lower side on the second scenario which is suggesting that we have now hit uh, the high for these we five to the upside and also completed the formation of these larger area to have count one in that move that gave us a high at around the one 19.8 dollar mark and if that is the case then at some point maybe next week we might expect a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of these larger area to have count two and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that now gives me a minimum retracement area for that wave two between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.618 which is an area that lies between the 108.3 dollar mark and the 105.6 dollar mark the area highlighted on the charts using this red target area and there are high chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is a bit of a corrective that is a consolidation over here before we can break down into this red target area in the formation of this wave 2 and once that plays out and we fully maximize that target area then that will be another perfect entry to get back into quant so that we can be able to ride that massive pump in the formation of this larger area to have count 3 
And those are the two possible scenarios that I have here on the quant chart where I've said to you that on the first scenario we can expect one more high in the formation of these wave 5 and that will, will also play out in case we see a break above the 119.8 dollar mark. In case we continue seeing higher prices and see a break above that then we can expect one more high in the formation of that wave 5 but as long as we are holding above that high then there are chances that we have seen the high for that first wave and soon we could see a breakdown to the lower side in an ABC corrective structure to give us a low within this red target area between the 108.2 dollar mark and the 105.7 dollar mark in the formation of this wave 2 before we can expect another impulsive move to the upside in the formation of that larger eighth wave count 3 and those, that is what I'm expecting and also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 59 mark. Also taking a look at the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll be keeping you updated.